So most most contractors of some description, once they grow a little bit, once they once they stop just being themselves, they start providing materials and labour, right? But the problem is most of them don't know whether they're making their money from either the materials or the labour, right? So what happens is the guys go in, they provide the labour, they know they're charging two hundred quid for your man here. Uh, they're paying 200 quid to your man and they're charging 300, 350, whatever the case may be. And then the materials, they're like, oh, I get 100 quid here, 100 quid there on the materials. And that tops them up, right? And that's great, but you need to keep a very tight handle on it because I'll tell you why, right? I guarantee you no company during the bust or during the, the crash went bust over um, materials, or sorry, over labour only. No company would have gone bust over labour only because what happens is, you know, the... The builder went bust, he passed the bill down to the subby, the subby couldn't pay it. The subby couldn't pay his suppliers, and the problem was the suppliers had given the subby 30, 60, 90 days credit, right? But the staff and the workers wouldn't have given the subby 30, 60, 90 days credit. They had to pay them every week or every month, right? Which meant they didn't have an opportunity to run up a big, huge bill with their staff, right? But they did run up a big, huge bill with their suppliers, right? And the problem there is that... They couldn't pay them, right? So what they should have done, right? Because they would have been making maybe 75%, 80% of their profits on the labour and a small 10 or 20% even of their profits would have been coming from the materials, right? The best way to do this, if you're in a situation where you're providing a lot of materials is, and the clients will love you for this, don't say the job is five grand. Depending on your circumstance, you'll know if this works for you, but if you're doing bigger jobs, right? Don't tell the client, look, the job is five grand. You can actually tell them, look, the job is four grand, uh, it's three and a half grand materials, 1,500 quid labour or whatever, depending on what type of business you're in, right? And what you'll do is, listen, uh, Mrs. Morphy, Mrs. Malloy, whatever your name is, right? I make my money on the labour. I don't need to make my money on materials. So here's how I'm going to tell you I'll give you the best possible job. The list of materials will be ongoing as we need, right? I will let you deal with my supplier. I will get you the best rates off my supplier that I get. You need to ring the supplier. You need to authorise them to charge your card as it comes in. Leave your card number behind the, the counter there and they'll charge you up to two grand. The materials for the job is going to be like from two grand to two eight, something like that, two five. I'm not too sure exactly what it is. But look, I will only be making my, my money on the labour so you know your guys, right? When when you do that there, you're then taking the risk away from yourself and what the margins are on that exact type of product. You could get anything. I don't know the exact, but you can get very high rebates. I know one guy the other day told me he was hit for a rebate of uh, 15%. So look, it's out there. It happens to me. It happens to me. It hap I'm just laughing at this guy's comment there. It does happen. The guys get their 15%. So what happens is you're not on the hook for the cash flow. You're not on the hook to the suppliers ever. You're, you're, you're minimising your risk. So as you go from supplying labour only as a sole trader, one-man operation, and you might bring one or two more people in, and then you grow a little bit, right? And then you start supplying staff and supplying a little bit of materials. It is better for you to minimise the risk associated with paying the materials because if something goes wrong, you're on the hook. All the builders that shafted all the subbies during the years, they're gone, you know, but the subbies are still fucking here and they can't get credit off their suppliers because of what happened to them. So make sure you're not one of them, you know? Okay, leave it with you guys. Talk to you later. Take it easy.